guys, Bert Johnson here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Before you do anything else, please, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to bring more content to you. I need you guys to subscribe so I can make some money. I'm just being honest. Next, also follow me on all social media at I am Britt Johnson. Today is such a glorious day. This week is so glorious. Like, yeah, whatever. I didn't really have a Valentine. Who gives a shit, right? Because Con Kaepernick finally settled with the NFL on his collusion case, which he filed in 2017. He basically said in the settle or in the when he filed the claim, whatever the shit's called, um, that the NFL owners and the league were colluding to keep him out of the league because he decided to take a knee during the national anthem to bring awareness to police brutality and social injustice for African Americans in our community, which is something that needs to be addressed. It still needs to be addressed. There's still issues that go on all the time. And he chose to use his platform of playing in the NFL and chose a stage like the national anthem to make awareness known to everybody. It definitely made awareness known. So he sought out to do what he needed to do. The problem was the NFL ended up not hiring him again after that. If you look at his, and yeah, people try to say, oh, whatever, he sucked as a quarterback. Well, if you look at his stats, his season in 2016, they're pretty up there between, you know, the 12th and 30th best quarterbacks in the league right now. So that would be starting quarterbacks. He had a completion percentage and his overall yards and stuff were in line with all of that. So I just got some shade. Do I have to scoot over? The sun came out. It's ruining my life. Whatever. I'll stand over here. Can you see me guys? Sun is so rude, right? That's so rude to do that. Now it's right in my eyeballs, but we're going to continue this show. So um, he's in level with still the top 12 to 30 quarterbacks in the NFL, and he was without a job. There's guys like Ryan Tannehill who were way worse than he was in stats, and they were starting as a quarterback. So um, it was clear that there was colluding going on to not make this man play in the NFL due to the fact that he had stuff to say about police brutality. And I did a video a while back talking about this. There were, I'm assuming you guys were Trump supporters because a lot of the people who are against Colin Kaepernick are also the same people that voted for Donald Trump. Just stating facts here. That's what I do on this channel. Um, and I'm so glad to like laugh in your face now because the, by the NFL settling with Colin Kaepernick, they're admitting what they did was wrong. Like, Hands down, they're like, there's no way we can fight this out of court. Um, now, the settlement is confidential, but sources have been saying that he received anywhere between 60 and $100 million, which obviously that's going to be what he would have made if he would have still been in the league on top of legal fees and stuff like that. So, the man got paid. And the most important thing to notice with that is he did it because he stuck up for what he believed in and I think that's a lesson to everybody like we all go through things or we have issues or we wonder like you know what like I really believe in something but I don't want to say anything because I have a job or I have whatever this I think really showed that if you do what's right things will work out for you in the end and I know Larry Johnson, who is a former NFL player, came out and said that he believes that Colin Kaepernick is a sellout for settling in the agreement, but I disagree with you, Larry. I think he, you know, he was the one of all the players that took that first stance to step out and say something and use his platform in a positive light to bring awareness to something, and... He lost his job because of it. You know, um, Eric Reed also filed a suit that he did with the NFLPA. He also settled on that, but he actually did get to play in the league again. Um, Colin Kaepernick, because he was the face of this 
movement did not get his job back. I don't think he's selling out. I don't think it necessarily was really about the NFL. It was about making a stand for something and being um, targeted as a person who shouldn't be playing because of it. I think settling set precedent to the league to maybe not do this again. I think that he still was able to get his point across when it comes to what the whole battle was in the first place, which is social injustice. He continues to work on that battle. So if it was something to where, like, oh, the NFL did something specific to me based off of this reasoning of something I did to them, I would understand maybe fighting it out or making sure somebody goes to jail for something that they did. But in this case, I think his point was still made. Um, He still works on social injustice and police brutality all the time. And the NFL lesson learned to not do this in the future. Let the players use their platforms and have options to have freedom of speech and freedom of protest, which is part of our constitutional rights. Um... I think he, and it's so funny because all he did was nil. Like, he didn't even say anything for a while. So, um, I think this is great. I'm so happy for Colin Kaepernick, and I am hopeful that, I I grew up loving football, you know, so I'm hopeful that the NFL starts making some positive changes. I think one of the best changes they could make is get rid of Roger Goodell and um, get somebody new in there, somebody that has, better vision for what the future is and what this country is becoming and um, I hope things change because the NFL is a great avenue for athletes to make money and for especially like African Americans because 70% of the league is African American so I don't necessarily want the NFL to just die off but the way it's been. I think that's something, I know I did another story previously about me saying the NFL won't be the NFL in 20 years. It'll be something completely different. I'm hoping it's something positive. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like my video and obviously, most importantly, subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media at I am Britt Johnson. Let me know what you guys think of everything I talked about today and I will see you guys very soon.